Grace Namagembe, a 38-year-old food vendor, endured months of severe pain below her chest and around her upper abdomen. She could feel a burning sensation in her stomach accompanied by vomiting. She frequently vomited after eating or taking medicine. Especially just below my chest, the burning sensation was a lot. I used to vomit to the extent that my mouth would be dry with no saliva afterwards. Initially, she sought treatment at local clinics. One day, the pain escalated to unbearable level and could not walk, prompting her to seek treatment at Chirudo National Referral Hospital. Doctors conducted a scan and discovered that she had stones in her gallbladder, a condition known as gallstone disease, which necessitated surgery. She is now recovering after surgery. According to Chirudu National Referral Hospital, there is an increase in the number of patients, especially women, with symptomatic gallstone disease that require surgical intervention. Surgeons at the hospital used to operate one to two patients every month. Currently, eight operations are carried out every month. Right now we have patients booked up to Angus, yeah? And because we, we can't just put everyone on that day to just, you know, clear all of them, we, we have days that we are supposed to operate, so we have booked them and we have patients that have been booked up to Angus. So we have uh, very many people with those cases. Dr. Catherine Nagadia, a general surgeon at the hospital, says girl stones are not the kind of stones we come across on the roadsides or at the construction sites. These ones form from the aggregation of excess bile components such as cholesterol. The gall bladder stores bile necessary for digesting food, especially that rich in fats. But when there is an excess, these components start to cluster, forming stones event that someone already has an excess of the components of this bile, some of those components include cholesterol, um, we, we have that, that super saturation. When this bile comes and it is stored there, yeah, it, it kind of stays there, so it gives opportunity or a chance for the other things that are excessive to actually start aggregating together. And slowly over time, they start building, building together, building together, then they cause those stones. The stones can be, it can be just one stone. Many people with gallstone disease remain asymptomatic and only discover the issue during scans. Others have symptoms such as pain below the ribs on the right side, often mistaken for ulcers. The pain usually comes a few minutes after eating, especially fatty foods and may be accompanied by fever. Oh, usually feel like it is ulcers, yeah? So many people keep taking painkillers and antiacids, thinking that it is actually uh, pain from ulcers. This pain is so characteristic, it is very dull, and sometimes um, it is like something is pushing eh, against something. So that pain usually comes as after someone has, has had a meal and especially a fatty meal. The disease affects both men and women, but women who are overweight, over 40 years of age or of childbearing age are at a higher risk. Working on our weight, our BMI is quite important, but also on the kind of foods that we get to eat because Sometimes the biggest uh, component in these stones is actually the cholesterol. While surgery is free at Chirudu, it can cost more than 4 million shillings at other facilities. Post-surgery, patients may experience digestive complications due to the removal of the gallbladder. Especially, you may experience um, like maybe some cramping or uh, fullness when you eat fat foods. So we usually uh, recommend that um, you stay away from fatty foods, yeah, and then you introduce them slowly after a certain period of time. No, but at Kunda, in TV News.